Good morning, good morning, good morning. AM Hustle. What's up, folks? Today, I want to talk about the habits of productive people and the moist men community. The moist men community. So, one of the things I like to do, and this is a habit, is I write everything down. I typically start each day with a written agenda. And lately, since I've been doing this car business, uh, I've been getting up early. Like, because, you know, it has me out um, doing a lot of things. And, you know, it, it has me burning way more calories. So, in the grand scheme of things, even though the first three months have been rough, they've been rough, 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 it's been good for me because I feel that it has awakened a spirit in me because now, speaking of the moist men, hey man, no one believed that you have multiple million dollar businesses. And th this is what's funny with the moist, moist men community, community is I have these moist men commenting on this channel and Savage Finance saying the same thing. They want my attention, like a little, like they're, like they're some hot little bitch, like, please pay attention to me. And I'm just like, you know what? Welcome to the block party. I just block them, delete the comment, and keep it moving, because it is hilarious. It is hilarious that I, I begin to understand that my energy makes the moist men stay awake at night. And what do I mean by that? Here I am, a black man, living life on my own terms, making a lot of money, living a really good life, and talking mad shit on the internet. I am the apex predator. This is the latest one. Someone, and this is the thing with the moist men, they're not even creative enough to come up with their own things. Someone left a comment, the real apex predator. <laughs> Let me tell you what that's about. <laughs> See, the haters are actually fans. He co-opted my tagline, because I said I'm the apex predator of YouTube. And um, I was just sitting there, I saw the comment, you, you're just jealous, man. You're just jealous. No one believes. Just like no one believes that I bought 34 cars in three months. No one believes that. Even though I can show you 17 titles and I can show you the paperwork, no one believes that. And I'm beginning to understand the moist man community. Now, I'm going to be nicer than Erica. Erica, Erica, Erica cracks me up. Erica gets so frustrated with the moist men that she be going after y'all. She be like, I grew up middle class. I ain't like you. <laughs> I love Erica. Erica be going off on you clowns. Uh, I'm going to say this. Moist men, listen to me because I know you're watching. Now, that's the funny thing. I don't watch YouTube content that I don't like. Actually, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube content. I just don't have the time. Um, here's the thing, take it from me, someone you secretly admire, someone you secretly want to be like, I, I can tell by your comments, you want to be like me. What is that? You ain't a hater, you're a fan, you watch everything I do, you own everything. Um, you should start developing the habits of the productive. One of the things, going back to writing everything down. I work off a written agenda every day. And then I have goals. And um, this is something that people will find to be funny. I have a budget. Now, it's on record. There's proof of my pay stub. I pay myself $350,000 a year. They ain't all the money. I leave the vast majority of the money in the company. 
I have no need to pull out a million dollars. I could if I wanted to, but what am I gonna do with it? I'm 54 years old. I've, done, I've been there, done that. I mean, essentially, $5,000 a month pretty much takes care of everything because I don't have any bills. I don't have any credit card payments. I don't have any car notes. I don't have any of that stuff. So in comparison to what I make, I can live pretty cheaply based if you compare what I make and you compare what I live on. And um, I have a budget. I have a written budget for my life and I don't go over my budget. And this is one of the things that the moist men community gets wrong. If you're balling, you don't have no budget. You just spending money left and right. You just spending money. It's like, what was that? What's this guy's name? John, John, <laughs> John, John, you ever see his, his, his YouTube channel? John Crassani, he's just like dropping money. He's just like, <laughs> he's just doing that on his videos. It's like, there's so much money. You don't have to be accountable. You don't have to keep track. Just spend, spend, spend. That ain't reality. I'm a millionaire and I have a budget. And um, that's something that the moist, moist men community doesn't understand because they have these unreasonable expectations and they have these assumptions based on flights of fancy versus reality. I know what it's like to make a million dollars a year. And I'm about to say something. It ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. I know you got people here on the internet telling you that you can make thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a month real easy. Uh, statistically, that doesn't bear out. Statistically, ninety percent of small business owners don't even crack a hundred k. Statistically. So, as my attorney said, I'm a rare bird. As my uh, CPA said, she says. You're rare. She said it is rare for the business owner to actually pay themselves three hundred fifty thousand out their business, and it is rare for a business owner that makes as much money as you do to show restraint. I can have a Rolls Royce if I wanted one. I can have a Lambo if I wanted one. And here, here's the thing with that: I test drove a Lambo. You know why I don't like Lambos? I know this is going to be this is a First world problem. I don't like Lambos because they don't have sunroofs. If I got a Lambo, it would have to be a drop top. I love having a sunroof in my vehicles. And that's one of the reasons I don't like Lambos. The R8 doesn't have a sunroof. You can get that in the convertible. And I'm sitting there like, I just like that feeling to hit that little switch, open up the sunroof. I like that. And that's why I'm thinking about keeping the drop top convertible as a personal car and taking it off the Toro. You know, it just depends. But I, I drove a, a Ferrari and it was fast. It was nice. It was an attention getter. It had that rumble, that rumble, rumble, rumble. But I just didn't really like it. I drove a Ferrari and I drove a Lambo. And also for you guys who have sports cars, Lambos and Ferraris are not everyday drivers if you value comfort. Their suspension is super hard, whereas in the Porsche, I have the option. I have a comfort mode, I have a sport mode. And sometimes I turn it into sport, sometimes, you know, it, I have options and I like that. For me, the Porsche is an everyday driver, even though I don't drive it every day because um, I'm mostly in the work truck. The BMW has become the work truck. This is where I keep all of my tools. I keep my air compressor in there. I keep my screwdrivers and stuff for changing license plates. I keep all my tools in that vehicle. And, that, and I keep oil and other stuff. That's become the work truck. And what I love is that huge sunroof. It's massive. I love that. Sometimes I sit in the back just to look at it. So. Make no mistake, if I wanted a Lambo, 
I would have one. If I wanted the Ferrari, I would have one. If I wanted the Rolls Royce, I would have one. I've test drove all of those cars. I will say the Rolls Royce is nice. It is nice. But most of them don't come with a sunroof. They come with the, the stars embedded in the, in, the, um, in the roof. So that's why I don't have those cars. And I got a video because I saw a video and I did some math and I don't know if he made a mistake because I'm going to be really gracious in this video, but um, the math doesn't bear out. The math doesn't bear out. So what I want you guys to understand in the most community is you need to start getting up early. You need to start working from a written agenda every day, at least five days a week. I do it seven days a week. And you need to actually stop being a hating little bitch. Here's the thing, on a subconscious level, your subconscious is not going to allow you to have what you hate. This is why years ago, when I would see someone in a Rolls Royce or a Mercedes, I was like, good for them. They probably work hard and they deserve that car. And I started saying that. And guess what? I have those type of cars in my garage because I'm not a hater. I am not jealous of anyone because I would stack up my accomplishments virtually to anyone on YouTube. I make more money than Graham Stephan because I have a business. Let me say this again. I make more money. I don't make that money from YouTube directly, but I make that from my business. I make more money than him. Then that's why I'm not impressed by him. And that's why I say he's a financial entertainer versus a financial educator. Because I have money, I make money, and I can see the bullshit, and he's full of bullshit most times. He really is. And a lot of y'all love your, your YouTubers. And I understand that some of these people you've grown to like, you feel like they're your friend on YouTube and you hate it when I talk smack about them, like our rich journey. Our rich journey did not retire in eight years. And I want to stand on that because this is something that I can prove. They did not retire in eight years. They retired in 18, 20 years. And until they come out and say, hey, we retired in 18, 20 years versus we retired in eight years, which is a lie. See, language and messaging are everything. As a business owner, you know, you've got to understand your language. You've got to understand. Because back to the Moist Men community, I've had people leave comments, and this is one, this is one of the Moist Men left this comment on two, two, two on both Savage Finance. Michael Gerber's ebook is $20 and it will teach you more than this five thousand dollar course. And I've had many of the Moist Men talk about the $5,000 course. Now, for those of you who, who have bought the corporate papers, you know it's not $5,000. <laughs> I say in video after video, use promo code AUGUST and get 50% off, it is $2,500. But once again, the Moist Men, when they'll... <laughs> he charged $5,000? How dare he? I can't charge $5,000 for nothing. He black like me. He can't charge that. It's garbage. You know, they're not even really paying attention. That's what's so hilarious. Because I've seen that comment, well, you know, $5,000 is ridiculous. And I'm like, you haven't even taken 30 seconds to investigate what the real price is. That is telling. That is telling. You know why that is telling? because that is going to illustrate how inept you are. One of the things that you need to learn, and this is something that many of you moist men in the community, the most men community are narcissists. And what is a narcissist? It's someone who believes that they're greater than they really are. Uh, Wall Street Trapper, I'm gonna give him credit for this because I didn't say this, but Wall Street Trapper says something I agree with. He said, a dope-ass leader was once a dope-ass follower. This is why you guys cannot be successful. You feel that you're smart enough to figure it out on your own, even though you're 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, and you ain't figured out shit. 
but you still cling to this belief without any evidence that that is true. That's what makes you a narcissist. And you're a raving narcissist. And every morning, I literally, I block and delete 20 comments per channel. Every morning. Delete, delete. Welcome to the block party. Welcome to the block party. Because you guys cannot understand true and real success because you're a narcissist and you feel, you feel that you're so smart and you can't even get a simple message to know that the course ain't even 5,000 is 2,500. Big difference, big difference. But you're a narcissist. You're a stark raving narcissist. And you want me to give you attention. And I'm just like, every morning I was like, who's gonna join the block party? Block, 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 delete, delete, block, 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 delete, delete. And I just keep it moving, because see, I don't have time for you clowns. Because we got an agenda here, ladies and gentlemen, we have an agenda. 50,000 corporate citizens. And it's gonna take me probably 10 years to get to that. And this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to probably get the majority of those in year nine and 10 because the movement will grow. Because listen to what I'm saying. I don't fully expect to do this in a few months or a few years. I'm looking at this going to take me 10 years. I will be 64 by the time I get 50,000 corporate citizens. And for every corporate citizen, and what is a corporate citizen? This is a person that owns a collection of companies that makes a minimum of $250,000 a year and has a semi-passive lifestyle. And that's a corporate citizen. And I want to develop 50,000 people like that. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, and this is a big one, moist men listen up. To do anything of any significance takes time. I know you got John Crushani on his videos, like dropping money. <laughs> he cracks me up. He's just like, he's just doing that all of his videos. It's just like, oh, there's that money. Like, uh, it cracks me up. But anything durable and sustainable, it's going to take time to build. Now, why is that a positive? Because if it's durable and sustainable, it doesn't just come apart. Like if Apple stop marketing and Apple markets all the time, if they stop marketing, they would make money for 10, 15 years if they stopped marketing because of what they built, the ecosystem, the infrastructure, the brand, they would make money. Like when we shut down the upscale garage sale, it took me six months to sell everything because of what we had built. So building things, and this is what I want to illustrate to my corporate citizens, is we got to build some stuff and it's going to take some time. I know that you are bombarded with all of these stuff. You can do this. You can start making all this money. You don't have to work that hard. It's just, you know, get a little knowledge. And I, I don't really know about that. I, all I know is hard work. All I know is working for my money. That's all I know. I don't know any of these esoteric, simple, quick ways to make money. I don't know of them and I'm not teaching any of that. And that's what you're looking for. You might as well stop watching because I'm never going to actually even talk about that stuff in a constructive, teaching, educated manner. I'm not even going to talk about it because I don't believe in it. Uh, there's a video that I got to do, which uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an apex. I am the apex predator. And uh, I'm going to do it because I think I caught someone slipping. And uh, maybe he made a mistake. I don't know. Maybe he, he'll respond. Maybe he won't. I don't know. But I'm going to do the video because it needs to be done. Because um, there is a certain segment of YouTube that keeps pushing an agenda that is absolutely harmful for the majority of Americans. It is really, really harmful. And watching the video, I know a lot of people don't actually know how to do simple math. They just don't, because this is how I found out he was slipping. And it's just, you, which you see the video, you, you'll see the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
But guys, you got to start getting up early. You got to start working from written agenda. And more importantly, you must take action. This is, this is one big habit of the productive. They take action over and over and over and over again. And I have people who are looking for some quick, simple, easy hack that allows them to make a lot of money and allows them to be comfortable. Last three months, I have been uncomfortable. I've been very uncomfortable. I've been working seven days a week. In the beginning, I was working 12, 16 hours a day. It was, it was nuts, it was ridiculous. But I had to go through that to get to this point, like right now it's getting predictable, I'm sending out messaging, and I'm not having the crazy stuff that happened. Because like I said, the Kill Switch Chronicles are probably gonna get a little boring because you know, I don't have the drama of someone stealing a Porsche That'll never happen again. And I've been, like I said, I've been really, really uncomfortable. Really, really uncomfortable. And many of you will not make yourself uncomfortable for one hot minute, let alone for three months. We're going, we're going into my fourth month of this. And I feel that September is going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be my first month where I'm probably going to do $30,000 a year. I mean, $30,000 a month. And by December, I'm hoping to be at $50,000 per month. A business that I took from scratch in the industry I knew nothing about. And also, there is uh, another moist man. And I, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't know if it was this dude. But I feel it's this dude because... I don't get these comments. I listen to so-and-so and these are the results I got. No, I was like, you need to watch him. And I keep, I'm just like, I got this weirdest comment. You can't stand people doing better than you. I was like, you know, I've dated three women who were worth more money than me. And I fucked the shit out of all of them. I love it. I love successful people. Uh, I, I don't have any hater. I don't have any moist man energy in my, I don't have, I don't even have moist man energy in my little pinky. I don't even have it. So I thought that was real. It, it, it makes me think it's this guy. And I'm just sitting there like, I must have said something that triggered him. I must have said something that really triggered him because I think it's this guy. I don't think it's a follower of this guy. I think it's actually this guy who's leaving these comments. And when it was like, Someone doing better than you. And I was like, I just deleted it because I know how many people actually have a million dollar business. 90% of small businesses don't even make 100K, let alone a million dollar. So I feel, based on the receipts that I put down and the things I've said and the things I've shown you guys, that this person saw something and he got a little jelly. Because see, I, unlike most of these YouTubers, I'm 100% real. I am the real thing. Like remember that commercial back in the day with the little lady? Where's the beef? <laughs> beef right here. I am the real beef. And I think that this little fool is a little jelly because I talk mad shit, but I can back it up. That's the difference. I'm like Deion Sanders. Y'all remember prime time? Prime time, it's like, he used to talk all this smack. When Deion was on the field, they would not even throw the ball on his side of the field because he was that good. He talked a lot of smack, but you notice Deion didn't cuss. Deion didn't drink. He talked a lot of smack, but he <laughs> backed it up. And I feel that this little, he's a moist man. You know, he got this Instagram and all this stuff, this stuff but I, I feel, and what I'm going to do is hire a private investigator to find out his real name. Because, once again, this, this is a big thing. You got all these internet personalities and you don't know their real name. And there's a reason they're not telling you their real name. Because if you knew their real name, you could Google search them and I guarantee you're going to find something. And I have a feeling I'm gonna hire this, I'm gonna spend some money, I'm gonna hire a private investigator to find out this guy's real name and crawl all up through his life. Because I think 
he's trying to be a moist little man and he's doing it undercover. He's not doing it under his real name, his real, his real internet name, his real club name. He ain't doing it under his club name. And I'm just sitting there like, hmm, this is interesting. Because once again, you can say whatever you want to, but Uncle G bring the receipts. I bring you proof. Name another person who claims to make all his money have shown you an ATM receipt with $150,000 in their account. Name one. With a date on it. Name one. They talk about they make all this money and they're, they're living a financed life. That's what they're doing. They may make six figures. I'll give them that. And they're leveraging that six figures into credit and debt to portray an illusion, a facade of success. Because in my garage right there are two cars that I paid cash for. I got the titles to prove it. And you got a lot of folks on the internet that are faking, that are fronting, that are <laughs> capping. And they're not real. They don't know what it takes to be a real entrepreneur. They don't know what it takes to be a real business owner because they're too busy pretending, faking, and fronting. And I feel that when I hire this private investigator, I'm going to find some stuff out about this guy that's going to be very interesting. And I, once I do it and I get the information, I will reveal to you guys because, like, that little comment, someone doing better than you, I'm like, you don't know who you're talking to. You, you, you think you're doing better than me. Ha, ha, ha. Let's see. And um, it, it's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. But once I get some proof, I, I will drop names. Right now, I don't have any proof. I have an assumption. So that's why I'm not naming names or saying anything who, who I think this person is, because I honestly don't know. But I'm going to hire this private detective, and I'm going to find out some real dirt. Because this is the Internet. You can Google me. You can Google me and see what I've been doing for the last 12 years. How many of these other people can you Google and actually find out stuff? My name is Glendon Cameron. One of my holding companies is Disrupt Asset Holdings. You can go to the Georgia Secretary of State and you can actually see that. I ain't hiding nothing because you know what? I'm real. <laughs> I'm like I'm like John Crisani. <laughs> I'm, I'm making it rain. <laughs> I can make it rain for real. I can go pull out 10 racks out the bank today if I wanted to. I can do that. But I don't do that because that's not prudent. That's just stupid. And also, true story. I was going to go write a, write a $100,000 check. And the teller, she just looked at me and she said, boo. <laughs> she said, most, most I can give you is $25,000. I can't give you that. You know, you would have to make arrangements. So, guys. In the Moist Men community, Moist Men community, start getting up early, start working from a written agenda, and start um, being active, getting active, and start working on your future success because it could be crappy right now. Like the car rental business, it was crappy the first three months, the last two weeks have been amazing. And I feel the next month is going to be really amazing. I may crack 30K next month. It just depends upon if I can get my fleet intact and get everything rented. That's just what it depends on. And I'm getting ready to do another Toro strategy. And we will see how that works. And I will be reporting that. I'll probably start the car rental course next week. Because I'm going to do this another Toro strategy today. Uh, the one I've been doing has been working really, really well. I went from like two trips to 13 in the last two weeks. And I think it's a matter of positioning and messaging, and we will be talking about that. So if you haven't signed up for the corporate papers, do so today. You want to be there for the live training this Sunday. We're going to get down 5 p.m. We're going to get down. We're going to have a good time and I'm going to educate you guys on data sets and data points and marketplace analysis. 
Very, very important. You can do everything else right, and you get this wrong, your business will fail. That's how important this is. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. The link to the corporate papers is below, and I will talk to you guys later. And the Moist Men community, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing in your moistness? Stop coming on both my channels like a little punk bitch. Little punk bitch. Punk bitch. I'm going to come. Every time I see him, I get mad. I don't even know why. I just get mad. You get mad because you have an inferiority complex. And I make it stand out because I show you real success. I show you real hard work, but I show you real success because I'm 100% real. And not too many people on YouTube can say that. You know? So go below, get the corporate papers, and I will see you guys in the next one.